Well, welcome to Twisted Creations. My name is Andrea and welcome to my channel. Today we are making candy cane snowflake bath bombs. The fragrance we're going to try is Nature's Oils Winter Candy Cane. I love this smell. It smells like candy cane, not too much vanilla. Then we're also going to be using Sparkle Glitter. We're not going to use any mica. And we're going to put sprinkles on top. Try sprinkles. Of course we're going to use one cup baking soda, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two cup baking soda, one cup citric acid, five milliliters of polysorbate 80, which is almost gone so I have another one. 5 milliliters of sunflower oil, spray with the witch hazel, and let's get started. Alright, now we're going to add our oils. As you can see, my daughter is over here. You'll see stuff moving in this corner. So my daughter has joined me. Measure out 5 milliliters of candy cane. Thank you. 
just about there we go five milliliters of the candy cane fragrance oil and I'll put the lid back on so we don't spill now I'll add the five milliliters of polysorbate 80 That's coming out drip by drip too. Probably so over 80 is an emulsion oil. It helps the oil and the color merge with the water so that way it doesn't leave rings. Alright, well that's all gone. Get it out of the way. And I need just a little bit more so we'll go ahead and pour that out of the new bottle. There we go. Now we'll do the five milliliters of sunflower oil. There we go. And we'll mix that in. Sunflower oil is to help moisturize your skin. Now we'll mix. After we mix, we'll add a little bit of glitter. Don't need a bunch of it, just enough so that there's a faint sparkle to it. Because I don't want it to have as much glitter as the sparkle berry does. We're coming upon the season where I can't open any windows or ventilate my area. So I'm going to try to pre record all my videos for November and December and then I'm going to do more draw me videos for the months that I can't open the windows than I do for the months that I can. And once the weather warms back up on nice days I'll open the windows. It's just we've already had snow here in Iowa. It snowed on Halloween for trick-or-treat night. That's the first time in a long time. And we got four inches of snow in my area. So that was, we only went four blocks for me and my children because they started to get cold. Which took 45 minutes to do the four blocks. So we are hoping for a better year next year. So I'm gonna do these now so I can show you them. And then I'm going to do some draw me videos. And I'm going to got some makeup powder. So my next video is going to be incense. The next couple are going to be incense and draw me videos. Until after New Year's. And it starts to warm up. Alright, that looks well mixed. Let's add the glitter. The smell is fantastic. And there's holes in my gloves, so there's stuff under my nails. Alright, little tap. Just like that. That's enough. And now I'm going to put the lid on before it spreads anymore. This is a very fine super glitter from Nurture's Garden. It's biodegradable. I like the glitter, it's just really easy to poof into the air that I'll start seeing sparklies float around. So I gotta be careful with it. Alright, that's starting to look like fresh fallen snow. It smells wonderfully minty. Now we'll add our witch hazel and then we'll pack it into our snowflake molds. And then let them sit for 24 to 48 hours before I mold them.
All right. Now that I got that all done, these are gonna sit 24 to 48 hours. If this works, I'll have snowflake bath bombs. If not, I'll make two sizes, size twos and size ones. Size one, twos, and three round molds of it with the sprinkles, red sprinkles on it for peppermint, the look. And these will become a soap mold. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let these dry. Welcome back. We're gonna unmold the snowflakes and see how these turn out. It is 24, 48 hours later. As you can see, they misshapen by me pressing. So I don't think these are, this mold's gonna work. It's going right. For bath bombs. No, I don't think it's gonna work for bath bombs. Soaps, yes, bath bombs, no. Gonna have to try this a different way. Try that bath away. A different way, yep. Here's the first one. There it is. Oh, misshapen glory. There's one. There's one. They're still sprinkled at the bottom, which there's a fair amount attached to the bath bomb that makes me happy. Let's try another one. Sure. It's another. That looks good. That does not go in there. This will be when I get more mountain pour soap. I'll make these hopefully before Christmas. But it's the beginning of November. I have four weeks to order it and get them made before. The beginning of December one will be when I want them to be ready. But I'll definitely have candy cane scented bath bombs in sphere form. I'll be using these for December over these. Thank you for joining me on my experiment and my failures. Until next time, have a great day.